Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie. I am a full-time online reseller and I sell on Poshmark. My Poshmark closet name is Fairy Girl Finds. Today's video is a What Sold Wednesday video where I report in to go over all of the items that sold in my Poshmark closet in the past week. This week's total gross sales were over $1,400. So if you wanna see what sold, keep watching. <laughs> started if this is your first time watching my videos or my what sold Wednesday videos welcome and also just a heads up I do look down a lot because I have my laptop out and I read off of a spreadsheet because I like to track all of my numbers on a spreadsheet okay so this week is gonna be run from April 18th to April 24th we're gonna start with Monday April 18th I had five sales the first thing that sold was a pair of rare Dansko mahogany red brown leather Mary Jane mule platforms. They sold for $31. After fees, I got $24.80. The next thing that sold was a brand new in the box Christian Dior, um, like a champagne shimmer evening clutch. It was one of the, um, the perfumes line gift item things it sold for $65 and after fees I got 52 then I sold a pair of like new Crocs navy blue toddler unisex toddler sliders they were slip-on sandals size 7 they sold for $10 and after fees I got $7 and 5 cents then I sold a pair of Zara black and white vertical stripe wide leg button ankle dress pant trousers again using every key keyword search term that I could potentially possibly put into the title it helps um they sold for 25 after fees I got 18 28 and the last thing that sold was a pair of Kate Spade polarized black and white floral Lulu 2 non-prescription lens sunglasses they sold for 70 and after fees I got 54 28 then on the 19th i had 14 sales this day was a great day but not a normal day for me especially on a tuesday i don't normally have this many sales i think it generated a close to 500 dollars in gross sales in one day which is typically a weekend for me but this week it was the opposite it was a tuesday and my weekend was slow weird so anyway let's get into them there's a lot i'll try to be as fast as possible Okay, so the first thing that sold was a pair of Fendi Brown Signature Prescription Lens. These are prescription lens, so when the buyer receives them, they have to pop the lenses out, put their own prescription lens in, or just put regular lens, sunglass lenses in them. They sold for 30 that's why I sold them so low, unfortunately, because they would have sold for much more if they were not prescription. They sold for 30 and after fees, I got 22 28 then I sold a brand new with tags Jansport beige tan navy star backpack. So cute. It actually was so big it could hold a laptop. Um, that sold for 25 after fees I got 20 Then I sold a vintage The Imaginary Foundation Create Beauty floral graphic t-shirt size medium. This shirt was so cool looking. It was artsy. Like whoever, whatever artist did that. I love your brain because <laughs> it was so cool. I have another one in my closet right now by the same artist and it's just um, like so wild like the graphic and what's going on in the picture. Anyway that sold for 19 and after fees I got 13.48. The next thing that sold was a vintage Andre Azul, Asus A-S-S-O-U-S. -S Can't pronounce that. I'm gonna say Andre Asus. Let's go with that blue and brown embroidered floral swirl shoulder tote bag that sold for $25 and after fees I got $18.28. Then I sold a pair of excellent used condition Dolce & Gabbana tortoise and floral DG3204 prescription lens glasses. These sold for $54 and after fees I got $41.48. Then I sold a sterling silver and cubic zirconian 925 stamped princess cut stackable band ring it sold for $46 and after fees I got $35.08. Then I sold a new Square Princess Cut Cubic Zirconia Silver Fashion Ring. This was not sterling. This was just like a regular 
silver ring, not sterling silver, just not even plated. It was just like a fashion ring that sold for 12 and after fees, I got $7 and 33 cents. Then I sold this really cool, super cool. I, when I saw it, I'm like, I don't even know who this is. If this is like a fancy designer, or if this is just like a random artist that makes these shirts, but it was so detailed. It was, um, I called it the lucky high roller heart casino bling rhinestone paint splat gamma shirt. Gamma G A M A was the name on the tag. It was so cool. There was so much going on on this shirt. Like if you like to gamble or go to the casinos or play poker, play blackjack, all that stuff, that was a cool shirt to have. It almost had like a tattoo look to it. Anyway, sold for 30 bucks after fees. I got 22.28. Then I sold a pair of Sorel tan and black Ute pack waterproof insulated winter boots. They sold for 60. After fees, I got 46.28. Then I sold a rare Coach Royal Blue Cobalt Peyton Bennett mini leather satchel crossbody. This sold for 76 and after fees, I got 59.08. Then I sold a Coach Kristen Romantic Rose Nude Soft Pink Smooth Leather Hobo Shoulder. That sold for $52, and after fees, I got $39.88. And then I sold a pair of Hoka 1-1 Women's Conquest Long Number 20108025 um, Blue Running Shoes. They were, sneak they were awesome sneakers. Another pair of Hoka's. So I told you guys, look out for Hoka's. They sell really fast and for really good money. These sold for $71 after fees. I got $55.08. And then um, I sold a, I'm just making sure I'm still on the same day. I sold a rare Kate Spade metallic shimmer aqua blue wallet. It sold for $35 after fees. I got $28. And then the last thing that sold on the 19th was a coach tan khaki signature brown leather double buckle zip around large wallet sold for $35 and after fees, I got 28. Then on April 20th, I had three sales. The first thing that sold was a Michael Kors acorn tan camel Saffiano grain leather silver chain cross body bag. It sold for 36 and after fees, I got 2708. The next thing that sold was an Armani Exchange black gloss white speckled paint splatter prescription glasses and a matching case that sold for 45 and after fees, I got 36. Then I, the last thing that sold was a new Jiju, J-I-J-O-U, Jiju Capri tortoise aqua leather crossbody bag that sold for $16 and after fees I got $11.08. Then on the 21st I had five sales. The first thing that sold was like new Ariat charger brown leather with blue embroidered cowboy boots youth size one. They sold for $54 and after fees I got $43.20. Then I sold an FSNY Jigsaw French Sole Scalloped Beige Tan Nude Leather Flats for women. They sold for $35 and after fees, I got $28 even. The next thing that sold was a new Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Museum Navy Blue and White Embroidered Baseball Hat. That sold for $14 and after fees, I got $11.05. Then I sold a Maui Jim blue and black metallic large sunglasses hard shell travel case that sold for 18 and after fees I got 1440. Then I sold a new Maui Jim woven hard shell beach tan camel sand colored sunglasses case. I'm laughing because I always put every color in the world in the description or in the title and description. Uh, that sold for $28 and after fees I got $22.40. Then on the 22nd I had five more sales. The first thing that sold was a rare Chanel white pearl quilted large sunglasses travel case with white interior that sold for $40 and after fees I got $32. The next thing that sold was a coach beige gold graffiti plaid tattersall poppy leather wristlet with pink satin interior lining. This sold for $34. $32 and after fees I got $25.60. The next thing that sold was a Miss Me Nicole five pocket skinny low rise 
dark wash jeans. They sold for 25 and then after fees, I got 20. And the next thing that sold was a rare coach 52926 black, yellow, pink, tan, feather, boho, leather, corner zip wristlet. That sold for 40 and after fees, I got 32. And the last thing that sold was a new Elizabeth and James Nirvana black faux leather makeup bag that sold for $16 and after fees, I got $11.08. Then on April 23rd, I had two sales. The first thing that sold was a Dansko Vanda top, top or taupe? I can never pronounce it. I'm gonna go with top, top. Top leather suede buckle accent wedge sandals. They sold for $45 and after fees, I got 36. And then the second thing that sold was actually a bundle. Um, it sold, it was a bundle of BOC tan leather platform cork wedge sandals and a pair of cut from the cloth nine inch rise Katie boyfriend jeans. This bundle sold for 40 and after fees, I got 32. Then on Sunday, April 24th, I sold five more items. The first thing that sold was a pair of rare men's locks, black, L-O-C-S is the brand, Locks. They're a pair of um, black and electric blue flame performance moto sunglasses. They sold for $12 and after fees, I got $9.05. Then I sold a pair of Piccolinos Brown Rotterdam Leather Rope Tassel Block Chunky Heel Booties. They sold for $59 and after fees, I got $45.48. Then I sold a rare Coach Campbell Abbey metallic plum burgundy leather gold chain camera bag. This bag was so cute. It sold for $75 and then after fees, I got 60. And then I also sold a Tory Burch orange Saffiano leather sunglasses travel case, large. It's the large one. It sold for 13. After fees, I got $8.33. And the last thing that sold was a Coach Fanny Spotty Tortoise and Sand Gold Chain Signature HC06052. HC glasses with a matching case. They sold for $68 and after fees, I got $54.40. Those were the kind of glasses that are just prescription glasses. You're basically just buying the frame and, or the frames and the case that came with it because you have to the prescription, so you gotta swap out for your lenses. So that brings my total gross sales for the week to $1,482.00. And my total net sales for the week were $1,185.60. Overall, I would say this is actually a really good week. This is where I prefer my numbers to be on a weekly basis or even a little higher. Uh, last week was rough. <laughs> last week, my total gross sales was around $640 even, I believe. So I more than doubled that this week. And I'll be completely honest with you. I changed nothing. If anything, I did a little bit less this week because I was busy focusing on moving my inventory over to my eBay store, which there will be a video coming out later this week about that because that was a nightmare and I am no longer doing business with eBay. And I will explain all of that in a video. So yes, this week I actually didn't dedicate as much time as I usually do with my Poshmark closet because I was busy working on eBay stuff. So that's pretty much it for this week's video. I would love to know how was your week? Did you have a great week? Did you have a terrible week? Did you have an average week? Um, did you apply any of the tips and tricks I gave in previous videos to last week's sales? Did it help boost anything in your closet? Have you noticed any improvements? I would love to hear back from you. So leave a comment down below. We'll have a chat. As always, be courteous, be kind, be nice. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel because I put new videos out every week and sometimes multiple times a week. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I hope you had a really good week. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.